Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and this video, I don't know if I titled what I titled it, but anyway, it's essentially try a chapter of a few books and then decide if I wanted to read them. So when I was visiting a friend in Atlanta, Rachel, if you're watching, hey, he, her house is filled with books, even more so than mine, and I was in love. And so I took some photos of some of the shelves, posted to my Patreon, and was like, which books would you want me to try a chapter of and I you know, see if I'm interested. So what I did was write them down and then I'm glad I did write them down because then I forgot and then it was time for me to leave. And I was like, I, Elena's one hour ahead and I was working from her house and I got all convoluted with the time. Anyway, anyway, I made it, I made it to the airport and I made it home. But the point is that I meant to try them there and film it and I didn't. So I did write them down, but then I lost the list. <laughs> So I, up until right now, I had read four of them and then I was like, I know there was a fifth one and I just found it. And it's Brown Girl Dreaming by Jack Jacqueline Woodson, I think. The other ones were Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. Um, like, and, and, and here's the problem is this scribble scratch that I wrote them in and I didn't even write the full title. So I did not help myself. Okay. Trail of Lightning by Rebecca L Roanhorse, Master of Gin by P. Jelly Clark, Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, Girl with the Louding Voice, I think. Can't remember the author and The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Those were the top five. I said I would pick the top five. Now, I have read the chapters from four of those. However, I just found my list and it's Brown Girl Dreaming. So I just borrowed it from the library. It was available and I didn't realize it's like in verse kind of and so the first chapter is really only like two pages so I'm gonna read the first two and then come back and well I have the other clips of when I read the other books yeah this is a mess but it's gonna come together I, I got distracted Andrew came in and then you know started crying anyway that's okay right. I was trying three different nonfiction books but I remembered that this was one of the books that was chosen for my try a chapter uh, vote on my patreon so I was like let me film this so I got the audiobook um, from the library so I don't know how it's broken up maybe okay we got a prologue and then part one so maybe I'll do oh the first chapter is really short hmm I wonder if they're all really short chapters maybe I'll give it to like page 26 which is like the prologue and two chapters because they're really short um and see and then i'm also not for this video but i'm also going to read um some of jesus and john wayne because i already read some of how the word is passed and decide which one i want to read right now because i'm feeling not connected to fiction and so i'm gonna try nonfiction. um and the only thing i just realized how they got hela cells Henrietta Lacks Gila. Wow. I just noticed that because of the bold. But the only thing is, obviously a white woman wrote this book. Sorry, just have weird feelings. But then also that the narrator, it says Rebecca Skloot, but also Bonnie Turpin. It's like, oh my god, I just heard her so many times. But anyway, I'm gonna see. Because I really like nonfiction with an audiobook. So hopefully hopefully it's good so i'll check back in after i have read the prologue and the first two chapters which is like 30 maybe maybe tw actually it's maybe like 20 pages 26 pages oh i got this is literally like a little drawer in my organizer and i just pulled it out because it's like all my all these post-it notes and um tabs got my pen for any notes a trusty red buell um hold on let me show you this flavor oh, so good oh my god i can't even show you i fell down the stairs on monday so my wrist really hurts anyway it's strawberry apricot apricot oh my god it's so good and i need red bull to make this to make the peach to make the dragon fruit all sugar free so i can drink them more often i mean i still drink them pretty often but you know what i'm saying okay let me try to get an aesthetic shot here some asmr Could have been better. Anyway, cheers. Oh, it kind of matches my book. You can't see me well, and that's good. 
but this is another clip for okay okay here we are again to try another chapter of a different book um so i'm looking for a master of gin because that was another one and i own it but it's somewhere in this not organized mess so we have to find it first let's see if we can prop you up somewhere hi doll say hello Ooh. say hi snaggles hi <laughs> Oh, hi, cutie. Hi, cutie pop. Okay, Mama's got that book in here somewhere. I think it's, I think it's here or here. Oh, look! That wasn't super hard. We love it. Am I ever going to organize these shelves? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Hey. Kiss. Thank you. All right, Master A Master of Gin by P. Jelly Clark, which I have read the first no novellas before this, which were um, The Haunting of Tram Car 015, and there was another one, but it's not listed here. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's like, I don't know. Oh, it says for Claudette, who many others called Liz, and I just call mom. Thanks for all those library visits. Let's see how long the first chapter is. I hope it's not super long. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay, we have, is it 12 pages? 12 pages, so not the worst. So I'm gonna read this. Um, I'm gonna read this. And then get back to you and then I'm gonna have my lunch. I am so lazy about filming these days, so that's why you're just getting propped up against something. If I can get but I'm only on the second page and I'm already LOLing because this dude, I think he's a white dude, I'm pretty sure, and he's in Egypt where this book is set. And he is like uh now Egypt, one of the great powers, and Cairo is fast outstripping London, even Paris. There are people swaggered through the streets, mocking England as that dreary little isle. Their foods troubled his stomach. <laughs> Their praying came at all times of the day and night, and they delighted in pretending not to understand English when he knew they very well could. Then there were the jinn, unnatural creatures. Like I just imagine this like perturbed white man, and it makes me Gaggle. Okay, I washed my hair last night, so please ignore the random twist, but uh, it took some time because work, but I finished the first chapter of A Master of Gin, and uh, I'm into it. I'm feeling it. I think this was a really great opener. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say without saying too much, but it was a really great opener of what happened with this meeting of this group, and then somebody showed up, and I was like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> So, um, hopefully you didn't see my work screen. I'm currently reading a lats away, but I don't know. This might be a contender for the next book I read because I definitely want to continue, but I want to finish a lats away first. So another goodie. So far, so good. Y'all doing a great job. What's up, Nini? You chilling? Where are your ears? Nigel, why are you like that? You look like a seal. Why are you laying like that? So I look a mess, so I'm not gonna show you my face, but I'm gonna try a chapter from, uh, I think it's called Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. I lost my list that I wrote down. They were like, I took the top five and I can only remember four. So this is the third one and we're gonna see, hey, don't stop moving your face. We're gonna see how I feel about it. Y'all, I am terrible at this try chapter challenge. I went back in my library app because I had to borrow the books that my friend had and I didn't have. And I, the next loan is due back in 22 minutes for the last book that I need to read for this challenge that I can remember because I can't find the paper where I wrote down the five books that I was gonna read. So I'm only reading four. Anyway, the fourth one is the girl with the louding voice, I think, and is due back in 22 minutes. So let me read the first chapter of that. Hopefully it's not too long. Here's Nigel. Okay. I am a mess. I don't know why I uh, 
<laughs> I always start off projects so gung-ho and then I forget about them like this has been a month my bad so anyway I just read the first two chapters I don't know if you want to call them from brown girl dreaming but I'm gonna start at the beginning because I don't know if I filmed clips of these if I did I'll insert them but Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse I have heard about this one for years I know that a lot of people really enjoy it and there's two out I believe but the third one isn't out. Now I've read Black Sun from Rebecca Runhorse. Loved it. Didn't love the sequel, but I'm gonna finish that trilogy. Um, I don't. I don't know. When I read the chapter of Trail of Lightning, Lightning, I couldn't really focus. Like I don't know. I just kept rereading lines, rereading sentences, and then I just started the chapter over again. And I honestly don't remember a lot about it. I know it was only the first chapter, but. It didn't grab me and I know it's kind of like a monster hunter story so maybe when I'm kind of in the frame of mind for that it would be better to try it but just reading it I just was like struggling to get through the first chapter and I was like yeah this is definitely not something I want to read right now and that feels bad it's not like I wrote it off permanently but I just was like my brain wasn't braining and so Trail of Lightning okay it's the sixth world series is what it's called and while most of the world has drowned beneath the sudden rising of waters of a climate apocalypse, Dinata, formerly the Navajo Reservation, has been reborn. The gods and heroes have legends walk the land, but so do monsters. So she's a monster hunter and supernaturally gifted killer. Uh, so yeah, I think it's something just different. Mm, I just was not, when I read it, I was like, I... I can't track what's going on. My brain is like, nah. So I didn't, I didn't go any further. Now... A Master of Gin. This one is so weird because I've read the two novellas before this and I really love them. And so I've had a Master of Gin for a while, haven't read it. Shame. So I read the first chapter and I was really into it because this is the first full novel. And I know a lot of people liked it, but they didn't love it. They said there were pacing issues. And so the first chapter was really interesting how it just like you're in a like fictional magical Cairo in like the 1920s I think it is and we start out with some really rich white dudes and it's a wild opening chapter and I was like oh snap I'm ready to read this and then I started the second chapter and I don't know what happened granted I've been picking books off my shelf in stacks to give myself options and I think it was just one in the stack and then I ended up reading something else. So I definitely want to get back to that one because that was an excellent opening chapter. It really draws you in. But that series is like a a fantasy murder mystery. Like the first two obviously novellas are really short but there are d two different things that happen in those. And then this one I don't know what the I'm looking at my blinds and they are dusty. I'm shame. Well, and I don't know what the crime or what the mystery is going to be in this one but I don't know that was an opening chapter I was like holy shit it does it just starts and you're like oh no this is you know it starts normal and then it starts building and you're like uh oh and then by the end of that chapter you're like oh fuck so then uh did I just read okay the girl the brown girl dreaming now this one is like I'm gonna look it up because I I'm I guess she technically would say it's written in verse, I think. Yes. Oh, she tells the moving story of her childhood in mesmerizing verse. I didn't realize it was like kind of memoir-esque. Oh, it's non -fic Wow, I did not know that. So for some reason, I thought it was a fiction. This is what happens when you don't read synopses, but I, I never do. Anyway, I struggle because I'm not really a big poetry fan. I just don't go for it. I don't go for works written in verse. Um, I have read one book by Elizabeth Acevedo and are all of her books in verse? Because I listened to it on audio and I definitely think if I had tried to read it, it would have been harder to read it with my eyeballs. So I think like the first two chapters were already, you know, interesting and especially this time in America because uh, basically you know it's talking about her being born in the 60s during obviously the civil rights movement so I think it would be something I would prefer to listen to when I'm in that mood like right now I really today because my mood changes actually hour to hour but today I'm very much in the mood for escapist fantasy 
or yeah that's what I'm in the mood for right now and I have my book already picked out that I'm going to re start reading today so when I'm in the mood for something that is a different kind of nonfiction, I don't know if I've ever read, read nonfiction in verse I don't think so because obviously I don't read many things in verse I think this would be a great audiobook to listen to and I'm sure that it would go really fast because I mean the chapters aren't super long since the verse. So I just was reading it and it was she was talking about Ruby Bridges and Rosa Parks and Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm like, oh, I just not I don't I don't want to read that right now. But it is something that I will put on my list to read one day. Um, because that's unique. And it would be my first memoir, nonfiction in verse. That would be interesting. Now, The Girl with the Louding Voice. This one was another one, and I think it's just how it's written, and it's supposed to be written like this, that the first chapter, and I don't know if it was just one chapter, because if the, if the chapter was super short, like one or two pages, then I read both, and uh, it, it may have been a few weeks since I did that. But anyway, The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dade. Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. So... This one is All You Have Are Words. Adeni is a 14 year old Nigerian girl who knows what she wants in education, but she's the only daughter of a broke father and a valuable commodity. So she's removed from school and sold as a third wife to an old man. And that is, ooh, ooh, that's in the first chapter or chapters. I can't remember how much I read. And it just is written in, I am guessing, the di obviously it's written in English, but it has like the dialect or like how they would speak it out loud and that was just at the time hard for my brain to process I kept like reading the sentences wrong like I was taking my American brain and I would see the sentence how it was written but my brain would try to read it a different way if that makes sense and then that just caused confusion and I was already mad at this man selling her to this old man when she just wanted to learn it and I was like okay wait I am not in the mood for this one in brain processing and in this I'm already gonna be mad but I know I've seen a lot of great reviews and saying that the main character she's just really compelling she's really well written so it's something that I would like to try and revisit and see if um, at a different time I would enjoy more or if the audiobook would be a good idea. But I just was struggling in the way it was written and also mad and did not want to read that at the time. But it has really great, I mean, a 4.45 on Goodreads and 131,000 ratings. That's pretty, that's pretty good. So... I'm gonna I'm come back. It's still on my want to read list. I'm gonna come back to it. But the last one on my list, uh, obviously, spoiler alert, I read this one, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And when I started my triad chapter, it's so funny because I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up multiple of these and actually go through and try a chapter. I did that with uh, the books on my Kindle, the ones I borrowed from the library, The Girl with the Latin Voice, Trail of the Lightning. Like I did it different times. And then I read A Master of Gin. And then next was Henrietta Lacks, which I also picked up with some other nonfiction because I was like, maybe I'm in the mood for nonfiction. And then I was like, huh, nah, I want to stick with this one because I need to, I need to know what happens. And I've already finished that one. If you want to hear all of my thoughts, uh, you can go back to my March wrap up, which I'll link. But that one, I obviously knew very little about Henrietta Lacks, and that's why I picked up the book. Uh, but getting into that first chapter, I tried that, and then I also read uh, the first maybe couple chapters of The Word Was Past, and then Jesus and John Wayne. And while I want to read all of, the, I want to read both of those. I don't know. Something was like calling me back to Henrietta Lacks, and so that one, I still struggle. Like. I, Mm, I always struggle with nonfiction because it's really hard for me not to give a nonfiction four or five because if I'm learning something new and it wasn't like watching paint dry to get through the story you're usually gonna get a four and so I feel like I would rate it a four only because I just feel I don't know I, I shared a lot of my complicated thoughts in that video but obviously it was a white woman who uh did the research interviewed her families because Henrietta uh, uh, passed away a long time ago and wrote the story um but Henrietta Lacks and her family are black and from the south and you know 
I don't know there's a lot of, lot of complicated feelings there but I think she did a good job and apparently she has a scholarship fund but I don't know if any of like you learn a lot in the story about Henrietta but she didn't live that long she died really really young at like 30 31 so you're getting more from her children who are you know when this book is being written or researched are grown and what they went through after they lost their mother what they're still dealing with now and so I don't think they ever saw any kind of financial compensation from um you know the pharma science industry <sighs> So if her like grandchildren or great grandchildren, I don't know what generation you would be on now, have something from this book, great. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have, I, I yeah. Anyway, I, I talk about that in that video, but I think it's a really good read, although it is hard to read. Um, and I, it was a really great pairing with if you liked medical apartheid and i say liked very loosely like if you read that and were interested in something else kind of like that henrietta the mortal life of henrietta lack would be a great pick or if you're you know in a mood to just be very angry you can read those back to back they they are a great pairing but so out of those five i read one <laughs> of the ones I chose and I'm willing to Master of Jen is a definite that I'm gonna read it's just like I have to get back to it and I actually don't know where the physical book is now it was a stack over here and there's stacks of it I don't know I don't know where it is I took off the cover so now it's just a black hardcover I don't know where it's at so I gotta find that but the other three I don't I would I'm willing to try again I don't know if I'll love them or keep going so a trail of lightning brown girl dreaming and the girl with the loud voice yeah but anyway there were a lot because Rachel has a lot of books um and there were I just took the ones that had the most popular votes because some other ones were um on there Rachel also has a lot of manga and so there are other ones on there that I still would like to try like um playing bad heroines uh, 10,000 Stitches, which is by the author of Half a Soul, uh, The Jasmine Throne. I still haven't read anything by Tasha Suri. I know, I'm ashamed. Um, some of these I can't even freaking read. The Girl from the Other Side, I don't know what that is. Heaven's Official Ble Heaven Official's Blessing. I can never say that right. Um, my handwriting is terrible, and I did not write out the full title, so I was not helping myself. But anyway... I don't know how I'll put in the clips of myself of the other things I don't know this is my first time I think I can't remember trying to do the triad chapter and at least I did complete one of the books and it was a great success but do you like how do you figure out what you want to read next as a mood reader it's kind of hard and I have I usually like grab a stack of four or five books where I'm like from different genres age ranges and then I'm like let me read this I usually kind of do the try a chapter thing all the time I just never do it in a video um and sometimes I don't even finish the full chapter where I'm like ah no nah, this is not for me and I did that recently and I read actually two arcs before they're coming out so I'm not a thief if you don't know what I'm talking about I will link that video but uh I, I landed on what I've landed on fantasy and I'm like oh okay I'm back in the mood for fantasy however my brain is still wanting things under 400 pages which is great because I've been reading um the Ryuria Chronicles by Michael J Sullivan I've already read the the revelations and then this is like the prequel series so going back to when they first met I read the first one the crown tower I finished that yesterday and uh I loved it it was amazing and now I'm gonna start the second one and this one's only like 340 pages which I'm like yes oh I just need shorter books like I know when we love a book we want it to be longer but like so many of these books don't need to be six seven eight hundred pages they don't make them shorter but anyway have you read any of the books that i tried and if you have do you think i would actually enjoy them but then yes tell me how you choose your next read even if you are a tbr person how do you come up with your tbr for the month is it just books you own to go with a theme 
And then if you're a mood reader, how do you pick your next read? Because we really be out here struggling. So this video was probably a mess <laughs> on brand, but thank you for watching. I hope you stay blessed, moisturize, wait. Bless, moisturize, hydrate, bless, hydrate, bless, moisturize, hydrate, and sunscreen. Is that it? Wow, can't even remember. Can't even remember my own thing. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.